Hey, how's she going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Well, another busy day in the workshop today. We've got a big project on the go. Uh, the blade that I use in the tractor for plowing snow all winter and for working around pushing gravel and whatnot through the summer. Well, I'm going to do some maintenance on it, of course. This is maintenance season. Anyhow, the blade is, uh, I was figuring the other day, it's 12 years old. Plowing snow for 12 seasons. And uh, you'll see when we look at it that the uh, cutting edge on it is pretty wore down. So I want to flip the cutting edge and I also want to take the uh, the hitch assembly off it. It's not a quick attach, it's a quick hitch. So I want to take the hitch off, check the pin, all the pivot points and uh, you know give that a good cleaning and a greasing. So that's what we're up to today in the workshop. We're going to do some uh, plow maintenance. Alright, there's the blade. It's a 60 inch wide dozer snow blade combination. The mold board here is uh, 16 inches high. You can see also that it has a reversing uh, cutter blade and we're going to be reversing that blade, that cutting edge, and I'll show you that in a minute. Then this is the uh, quick attach system, not a quick hitch. And uh, over here on the table is this is what they call the tongue and that goes on the tractor. Here we'll then slide into this receiver bay here and it latches in place and then that holds the blade on. But anyway, some maintenance that I have to do in this thing today, I'd like to take this uh, quick attach system off. There's one king pin right here in the middle. There's a bolt nut that holds that so I'll take that out, drop that pin, see if there's any wear in the pin or in these bushings. There's lots of gravel pieces and bits that are stuck in it from plowing because I plow on gravel roads. In order to get that out of there, this uh, receiver out of there, I have to take this pin out so that I can pull this piston and that receiver right clear of the blade once I get that pin pulled. Also I've had trouble with uh, this rod down here. It's an axle that goes from that side right to this side and the whole plow pivots on that. So I want to, to uh, take that nut and bowl out of there, drive that shaft through there and make sure that that's in good shape. Sometimes it gets bent and uh, grease it up good. Another thing I want to do, you see here on the side, this is the uh, wear bar and you'll see that's flattened right off flat at the bottom. But on the top there's a nice little taper comes out here to a point. Well this is the good edge, this is the bad edge. And I was thinking the other day that this blade has lasted me pretty good, but when you look at it, it's wore down at least an inch. So I'm going to take that blade off and flip it and put the good edge down. So to start, I want to take this tongue assembly right off. The receiver for the tongue, I should say, not the tongue. In order to do that, I have to take the pin out of the center here, but that means this piston has to come off too. So I'm going to let this nut and bolt go out of this pin, and then that pin, I should be able to get that pin out and then I'll be able to pull that assembly right off. So that's what we're up to right now. So I'm going to loosen, take that nut off and I'll come back. So I got the nut and bolt off of that. So now I'm going to just take my punch, drift punch and drive that pin out the top. There, uh, the, pist the piston is free now, so now I'm going to lay this back down and take the nut and bolt out of the kingpin. So now I have to take this nut and bolt off of this kingpin and then do the same thing flip it over and drive that out. So I'll come back when I got that ready. Hard to get it, but I got her. Okay, so that's out. Now, what I want to do is flip the plow up again and just try to drive that pin through. So there's the pin comes through the bottom, so I have to drive that through the top. See if I can get that. This whole assembly here now should lift right out. <clears throat> so I was thinking before I uh, try to clean that off, 
this yoke right here that that pivots pivots on this axle. So what I thought I might do is just take that nut and bolt off there and drive that axle out. Then I can take that whole thing off and then the blade will be more or less uh, void of any kind of a hitch at all. It'll be easier to move it around and whatnot. Alright, I got that out. Now, pushing that shaft through there, hmm, that could be a tricky one because I know for a fact that that shaft is bent because it's been uh, partially out before while I was plowing and I knew that it got bent. Uh, I think before I start to do that, I'm going to loosen off this tension on the springs so that the, the springs won't be pulling that against the shaft and binding it. So I'm just going to loosen that up. Okay, these are 15 16 nuts and uh, I only have one wrench to fit it. So I have to use adjustable on the other side. Just to loosen this nut here. So the springs are plenty loose now, so I'm going to lay this down and see if I can dry that shaft. It's going to be sure to punch here, but can't get much of a swing. The good news the shaft is moving. There's the shaft, and you know what? It looks pretty straight. Can you see down there? Doesn't look too bad. A little rusty, but it was plowing snow all winter. Okay, I should be able to lift that right off now. And once I get those springs disconnected, I'll be able to put that away and then I'll be able to get at the blade to clean it. So we'll come back when I'm set up for that. <laughs> 